Here's a quick update from our backyard water efficient urban farm at the Cape at Cape Patterson in Victoria's Bass Coast. So it's a very compact and very productive farm in a small space. It's made out of food cube wicking beds, which are made out of 80% recycled plastic in Melbourne. Each of the food cubes holds around 100 litres of water in the base. The plants reach down for that water through capillary action. There's very little water loss from this system. Uh, you don't need to top water it. The only water loss is through evapotranspiration from the foliage, so very, very water efficient. This means that you only need to water this maybe once a week during summer and maybe once a month during winter. It's connected, the whole farm is connected with connecting pipe work to that water tank and that takes a uh, that intercepts 100% of the rooftop rainwater from this house. In a rain event that goes into this water tank, if it fills, it'll overtop and water this farm, which has a couple of thousand litres of rainwater storage in the base of the farm. So we're harvesting rainwater to grow food. The other thing we're doing is harvesting organic resource, food and green waste from the house and the garden and the lawn. We have two composting and worm farm systems. This first is this in situ worm farm made by one of our residents out of scrap timber salvage from the builders. And we put our food and green waste from the kitchen into this farm as well as lawn clippings and other material and that uh, is broken down rapidly through microbes and also worms and also the plants directly put their roots into and feed from that organic resource. The second uh, composting system we have is this larger composting system over in the corner where we can take larger volumes of organic resource every time we mow the lawns, all of the lawn clippings any cuttings from vegetation and trees, shrubs, all gets composted in that hot compost, gets up over 60 degrees, breaks it down rapidly, and that's also diverted into the food. That, com that combination means that we haven't sent a uh, green bin away from this site in the last two years. 100% of the organic resource has been put straight back into food production. The other little adaptation we've done is inserted, installed this nice netting system. So we have these nice frames uh, made by Food Cube or Bifilter, the company makes the food cubes. And then we've draped this one big net right over the hole of the farm. And that protects the farm, creates really gentle growing conditions, protects it from wind and the elements, 25% shade. So it drops the intensity of the sun, creates this nice um, and gentle growing environment. And it also keeps urban pests like white cabbage moth off the farm. So you can see the garden's really thriving at the moment. We have cos lettuce, uh, bok choy, wonbok, nice uh, coriander looking really happy and healthy, late season uh, zucchinis, kales, different types of root vegetables, onions, and uh, rainbow chard, and so on. So absolutely thriving. Each of these food cube wicking beds can produce over 20 kilos of fresh produce per annum. So a huge amount of food out of a small space which knocks a big hole in a food bill and uh, really helps people tackle that cost of living as well as uh, living sustainably, reducing food miles to food meters and also cycling nutrients straight back into urban farming. Uh, with shrinking backyards and urban heat uh, and future heat waves, uh, this is a nice little adaptation around um, urban heat mitigation. So I'm in a nice little cool zone and it creates a pocket of cool productive space and if we had hundreds of thousands of these dotted through our heat vulnerable suburbs then these sorts of things could also help to cool the city uh, harvest rainwater harvest organics and um, and create a really a resilient food abundant climate adapted urban form so lots of positives and it's really great to see all this fantastic productivity here today